The movie starts by showing some teenagers gambling, smoking, and drinking in a room. They smoke as they ask Tsatsi, the most hardened criminal among them, about what plans they have for the night. As soon as they finish gambling, they leave the room and walk in the street. A man named Fela talks to Tsatsi, he calls him a little gangster then he asks him if he has learned how to drive yet. Tsatsi gives a middle finger as he and the rest walk by Fela. They then enter the train going to the station where they plan to rob and extort people. When they get there, they start to stare around looking for who to rob. Tsatsi sights a rich man and they follow him up. The man enters the train and they enter with him as well. They go close to him in the train and they silence him as they rob him. They rob him silently so that nobody in the train suspects what is actually going on. The train eventually stops and they head back to a bar leaving the rich man dead on the floor. In the bar, Soki's place, Boston begins to question the guts of Tsatsi and he further asks him his real name. Boston begins to freak out about the man they just killed and he starts to frustrate Tsatsi. Tsatsi then gets really angry and he injures Boston with several punches in his face. Boston lies on the floor with his left eyes damaged as Tsatsi runs away from the bar. Tsatsi remembers his traumatic childhood memories as he runs. He sits under a tree when a woman drives to a gate and she gets out of her car. She calls the intercom at the gate then Tsatsi hijacks her car and shoots her in the course of hijacking her car. Suddenly, Tsatsi hears a baby crying in the back seat of the car as he drives away then he stops the car. He then takes out the baby and puts the baby in a medium-size handbag and he leaves the car like that on the road. The next day, Tsatsi wakes up and starts to cater for the baby. He gets the baby food to eat but unlike every mother, Tsatsi does not know exactly what to give the baby. He finally gives the baby milk and the baby stops crying eventually. Shortly after that, Tsatsi gangs arrive at his house and they begin to talk. They still ask him what plans he has for the night again. Tsatsi sees a woman carrying a baby after Butcher, one of his gang, flirts with the woman. Meanwhile, the woman Tsatsi shot, Pumla, lies in the hospital with her husband John next to her and they inform the police about the incident. John tells the police to do everything they can to get his child back to them. Tsatsi arrives at the station at night and he stumbles on a crippled man's wheelchair. The crippled man abuses him bitterly and spits on him. Tsatsi didn't say a word but he follows the crippled man, looking so hellbent on doing everything evil to the man. When the crippled man gets to place, he stops him and he begins to humiliate the man. After some times, he removes his gun and he tells the man to take out his money. However, he leaves the man with his money scattered on the ground. When Tsatsi returns back home, he discovers ants have gathered around the bag that he puts the baby in and he brings out the baby and he finds him crying with ants all over the baby. He removes the ant and he eventually thinks keeping the baby wouldn't be the best idea for the well-being of the baby so he decides to take the baby to the woman he sees previously. He sneaks on the woman and he enters her house where he compels the woman to breastfeed the baby. The woman drops her own baby as she feeds him. Back in the hospital, Pulma tells the police to help her find her baby and make sure no harm comes to her baby. Pulma claims to kill Tsatsi if he ever brings any harm close to her baby. The next morning, Tsatsi wakes up in the house of Miriam and she asks nicely to bathe the baby. After she's done bathing the baby, Tsatsi threatens to kill her if she tells anyone about the baby as he leaves her house. Fela then tells Butcher, Boston, and AAP to work for him since Tsatsi now doesn't show up often and now has a baby he caters for. Later in the night, Tsatsi stares at the baby as he remembers his childhood days when his father would come home drunk and his mother lies on the bed sick from a disease. The next morning, AAP visits Tsatsi and tries to make peace with him and tries to get him to return back to the way he used to be. But Tsatsi tells AAP that he is no longer interested and then suddenly the baby cries out. Tsatsi tells AAP it's finished and done and AAP goes speechless as Tsatsi shuts the door on him. Tsatsi then takes the baby to where he grew up and asks the homeless children living there to take the baby but they refuse. He goes back to the house of the woman that breastfed the baby and asks her to breastfeed the baby again. The woman does as he says and they begin to discuss. She asks Tsatsi about the baby's name and he tells her David. Tsatsi then asks the woman about her husband and she tells him that he left and never came back, he must have been killed. Then the woman asks to take David in and takes good care of him so Tsatsi agrees. Tsatsi goes back to the bar and he meets Boston lying down really messed up. He then asks him to decide if he wants to be at the bar with Soki or if he wants to come to his house. Then Boston decides to follow him to his house. Butcher and AAP then assist Boston to Tsatsi's house and they leave to get money for Boston to take the exams he wants to take. 
Tsatsi takes them to John's house and they wait outside until John comes back. As soon as John enters his house, they sneak in immediately and they abduct him right there. They tie him up and John sees their faces. Tsatsi asks John for the safe and John tells him he doesn't have any. Since he has seen their faces, Butcher wants to kill him but Tsatsi tells him not to. Tsatsi and Butcher then spread out in the house in search of money as AAP stays with John. Apps then begins to ask John about what he can eat and John tells him to go to the fridge and as soon as AAP goes to the fridge, John presses the alarm button and the whole house goes really noisy. Tsatsi and Butcher run to the scene. Butcher gets furious and decides to kill John. As he is about to pull the trigger, Tsatsi kills him instead. AAP sees what just happened and he runs away. Tsatsi then leaves John unkilled and he takes his car keys. AAP seems to be stuck in the house when Tsatsi asks him to enter the car with him and they drive off. Then then go to Fela and sell off John's car. But Apps seems to be disturbed by what happened in John's house, about the death of Butcher and he concludes he can no longer follow Tsatsi. Tsatsi feels bad too and he gives AAP some money and then he leaves. Still late that night, Tsatsi goes to Miriam's house and he begs her to allow him into her house. Miriam then lets him in and she cooks for him. She gives him food and she sits on the dining table as well. Tsotis then gives her money for all she's done for him but Miriam refuses to collect the money. She then tells him that she knows about the baby and everything and he urges him to return the baby back to her real mother. Tsatsi gets up and starts to freak out but he eventually thinks straight and decides to return the baby. He then asks Miriam if he can come back to her house after he returns the baby and she agrees so he leaves to return the baby. He first goes back to his house and he drops his gun. He tells Boston that he is sorry. Soki informs the police that Tsatsi has the baby and they arrive the next morning. She gives them the direction to Tsatsi's house and they break into his house. They meet Boston on the bed and they begin to assault him because they think he's Tsatsi. Soki then enters too and tells them that's not Tsatsi. Boston cries out that Soki is telling the truth so the police leave him. Tsatsi is now on his way to return the baby and he meets the crippled man again and this time, he tries to be nice to him and he gives him some money and he then leaves. He arrives at John's house late at night and the police guarding the house sees him from the window and quickly informs the police headquarters and they rush down to John's house. Before the gate to John's house, Tsatsi moves close to the gate and drops the baby. He then calls the intercom at the gate and John himself answers the call. He tells John that he will leave the baby out there and John rushes out and his wife follows him. The baby starts crying and Satsi tries to pamper the baby when the police arrive. The police surround him and ask him to raise his hands up. John arrives at the scene and he asks Satsi nicely to wait for him to come and get the baby. Satsi stands in the middle of the road with tears on his face as John moves close to him to get his baby. John eventually collects his baby and Satsi raises his hands up ready to be arrested and the movie emotionally ends in a sad moment for redeemed Satsi. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified whenever we publish the next recap. Till then take care. See you next time.